multiple topics, and I don't want to take uh, too much time from you guys here. And um, getting into some of the topics that I do have and starting it off with the first one. And now uh, with this one, should the championship scrimmage match return as a permanent match type? And John, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I did enjoy that match. I thought it was pretty, uh, you know, uh, unpredictable. I thought, you know, it was pretty cool to see who the fuck's going to win. I did enjoy it much more when a new champion wins, like somebody we'd never expected. So, yeah, uh, I, I love playing that, you know, match in the fucking games. And, yeah, it'll be just great to see again, in my opinion. Boston fan, what are your thoughts on that? Okay, now, what was, what was the match that you wanted to have come back? Championship scramble match. What are your thoughts? Um... Yeah, I mean, it's something different. I mean, I say why not? I've got no problem with it. Um, you know, I think it's definitely something, you know, worth watching. So, sure. I think it's just, I think, I I think Boston fans' memory is scrambled. He doesn't remember what the fuck that match is. <laughs> it is perfectly fine. Uh, as in what are your thoughts on that anyway? <laughs> really quickly, Chris, do you remember what the scramble match was? Don't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> I can <could> tell. <laughs> That's beautiful. Uh, you know, I, I'm fine with it. I think it's great. I, I, I think if they bring it back um, once in a while, it's good. But I wouldn't make it, you know, a pay-per-view, uh, pay-per-view tradition or just, you know, have this at every every pay-per-view or every, you know, once in a year, like a pay-per-view, you know, team or whatever. I wouldn't do that, but. I do love the match when when it's necessary. Yeah, and to me, I think they should definitely bring it back, and at least every once in uh, once in a while and once a year. And uh, I liked how they did that with Unforgiven, but they just scrapped that the, the whole thing together. So if they could have that maybe at WrestleMania, I think that would be pretty cool to add that instead of. Um, well, filling in for the Money in the Bank ladder match, so I think that would be pretty interesting. Or maybe have it in another pay-per-view or whatever have you. So yeah, I think they should bring back the championship scrammer match, and I thought it was a cool idea. And the uh, next topic that I have here, and then it's going into William Regal, and do you guys think he should have a World Heavyweight Championship matchup before he retires? And John, what are your thoughts on that? Um... Not no disrespect towards William Regal, and I would have to say no. I mean, he does deserve it. He's been there for a long time. But, you know, the only thing I could remember him is kissing Vince McMahon's ass. <laughs> so, but yeah, I would love to see him, at, you know, stay as a you know commentator. He does a great job on that. Maybe, I don't know, I just, I could really care less if he would win the world title. I mean, yeah, he would deserve it. It's just, I don't know, I really don't care if it happened or not. Alright, boss the family, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I could kind of care less if it didn't happen. I mean, the guy's been kind of irrelevant for years on, on years now. I mean, he's just working backstage. And, um, you know, I mean, for him to just maybe come out of the blue and to win it, you know, kind of would like go over like a fart in church, you know? I mean, um, <laughs> so, uh, or like a pizza box. Uh, <laughs> so I could, yeah, care less if, um, if he won. Uh, SD, what are your thoughts? Um, I think he had his chance. Uh, you know, in 2008, when he was doing the whole King of the Ring thing, and, uh, you know, he was being pushed as being the general manager and everything, and, uh, you know, on Raw, he was turning the lights down and everything, and he was going there. I do believe if, if that, if that you know, storyline would have continued, he would have ended up, you know, winning the championship, or at least getting a title shot and him being credible. I think he would have kept going, but he got fucking busted for st for steroids or whatever. What the hell happened? He got you know a a, a WWE wellness uh, wellness policy, you know, uh, smoke the failure. Whatever. What the hell happened? He got he got busted and uh, it kind of uh, screwed his punch, but his push. But uh, you know, um, I would love to see you know if Mark Henry deserves it. Why the hell would Regal not deserve it? Yeah, and uh, I'm pretty much the same way. I would like to see to have William Wingo have, at least have one run with the championship and then uh, have him retire after that. So, uh, you know, he has been commentating as of right now and uh, so far being general manager in NXT or whatever, what have you. So, um, you know, hopefully he can move on from that and uh, 
go back to the main roster and maybe challenge the world championship and maybe win it at WrestleMania or something like that. So, um, but anyway, that's pretty much it with my thoughts on that. And getting into the last topic that I do have here. And lately, WWE has been changing the pay-per-view schedule and some pay-per-views have come back. Some have been taken away in general. So, and that there is one that is going to be missing. I'm not too sure what they're going to be doing with that pay-per-view but anyway in general with the wwe pay-per-view schedule that has been changing uh lately what are you guys thoughts on that and do you think they should have uh, another pay-per-view come back with the one that will be missing uh as of right now john what are your thoughts on that um i would have to say that there's way too many pay-per-views as there is right now it's a different time uh that's one of the reasons why in my opinion i think that the buy rates aren't doing as good as they used to be so I think that they should just do it like a special thing, like have the big four pay-per-views only, and that's just my opinion. All right, Boston fan, your thoughts? I'm trying to go in the way of uh, John here. Um, I think, yeah, there's definitely way too many pay-per-views already. Um, and if we were to go to the big four, there's only one other, pay- or one other style pay-per-view that I would want to see come back. And I know everybody has said, or a lot of people have said it and or agree with it, you know, they can in your house pay per view like maybe once or twice a year along with okay. four because here's the thing the the less pay, the less uh, pay per views you have the better of the storyline you can work for and put it into um, you know these other the big four pay per views and or if you were to put um, uh, in your house in there um, it would just build to something big you know so I mean. Uh, yeah, definitely, you know, I would say get rid of some of them and that's, you know, and kind of do it that way, you know, but that's just my opinion. All right, S and D, your thoughts? I personally am not on the bandwagon of uh, there's too much pay-per-view. Uh, I think one way or another, you know, uh, you're going to see it, you're going to enjoy it, you're going to buy it, and they need to make the money of the pay-per-view, so I don't think there's too much. I think 12 pay-per-view a year is perfect. Um, you know, one every month, and uh, I think that's good. Um, the way I look at the actual, you know, schedule for pay per view right now, but now like they the, have like on October two fucking pay per views in one. No, it's month. gone. It's it's no, reduced that's, to that's one. That's what I was saying, Yeah, it's reduced to one now in October. Now the way the way it is now is they don't have any pay per view in March, and they have of course WrestleMania on April first, and they have Extreme Rules on April twenty ninth. So. Um, Basically, they have two pay-per-views in April, but, you know, again, Extreme Rules, who the fuck buys Extreme Rules, you know? So, that's just my personal opinion. But as I look to the schedule right now, um, the pay-per-views that are to be determined are the June uh, pay-per-view, which is, well, last year it was Capital Punishment, and uh, in December, which is TLC, uh, to be determined. So, I personally would, you know, in June, keep it Capital Punishment, and in December, I would keep it to have, you know, a TLC. Why not? Those are two pay-per-views that, that did tremendous buy rate if you actually take the time to go on the WWE's corporate website and actually look at the revenue and everything. When you need to look at, at the business side of it, those are two pay-per-views that did good buy rates. So why cut them? Right. Yeah, see, me- see, see, just to leave it before, just, just to, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to go on a big tantrum on that. But I feel like a lot of people are bitching, and they're not even looking at the business side of it. When you take a look, at, when when you look at the business side of it, and you actually you know go on Derby's um, corporate website where they put the revenue out, where they put the details behind the actual money making, they're a business. They're gonna need to make money. So when you take a look at it the, in that way, in a professional way, there's a lot of bitching that aren't necessary. Right, but don't you think, Simon, that the you know, people would be more interested in buying the pay-per-views if there was less pay-per-views and better story writing and more involved in the story to build, you know, better matches uh, for, you know, some of these, especially for some of these people that are being held back. Um, so that way they can have a proper build and more of an excitement to go into into a pay-per-view rather than have, you know, once a month, uh, once a month pay-per-view. And, you know, kind of have it be here today, gone tomorrow. It's 2012, bro. You know, it's not the 80s anymore. Uh, the, f- the fact is, if they would only have the four big pay-per-view, 
I don't think people would buy it more. I don't think so. I think people would see it as, oh, they, they have four more pay-per-view. Uh, I can still watch it on the internet, so why would I pay for it? I'll just end up you know, buying the DVD and I'm still going to... Yeah, I don't think that if they reduce the pay-per-view number, it's really going to... I do believe in some... It, it, like in October, it's just better for, for, for them to have got one of the pay-per-view in, in October and have you know only one pay-per-view in October. I do agree with that, but I don't think that you know cutting a paper or cutting lots of pay-per-view um, at random times in a year is it's going to be it's going to be better for product or for business. For product, it's it, it might only make things stale, and business-wise, they're still making a lot of money with their pay-per-view. So why? Yeah. Well, no, I can see your point. Alright, so really with me, I think they should just keep it each pay per view with uh, having a pay per view each month. So I think it's a lot easier that way. And having two pay per views in one month is kind of a little bit killing it. And with the two week bills, which some have been, you know, pretty good, but I think it's more better to have it uh, with them each month have its own pay per view and not to be it. That's just the way I see it. But uh, that about does it for all the questions and all the topics that I have planned. Uh, is there anything else you guys want to add to everything that we talked about, or you guys want to give any shout-outs or anything like that? Pizza box. 